quick tips in terms of doing Facebook ads for if you're just starting out with a small audience. So <laughs> I guess the quickest tip is I have a whole course on that. But, but be, be, besides that, uh, I would say that the, the important thing is to understand when it comes to Facebook ads, uh, just having big numbers of people seeing something, it, it may not be a good idea because, um, well, first of all, uh, I separate Facebook ads into warm versus cool. So warm audience are the people who have already engaged with your content in the past year, whether they visit your website, if you have a Facebook pixel installed, so that's probably the quickest tip I give you, install the Facebook pixel on your website. You need to follow whatever laws you, you know, are in your location about you know, pixels and cookie tracking of, of, of your visitors. Uh, but yeah, if you, once you have the Facebook pixel installed, then everyone who visits your website, some of them who haven't blocked cookies, you'll be able to advertise to them in the future or going forward. And so that's part of your warm audience. Your warm audience also includes um, people you upload from your email list subscribers, you upload them, even if it's small, small list, you, you still upload them again, based on the, you know, whatever laws in your location. Um, it also, so your website visitors, your email list subscribers, your, um, Facebook engagers. So these are people who have liked one of your posts or commented on it or shared it, or simply click continue reading or they have viewed three seconds or more of any of your Facebook videos. That's all part of Facebook page engagers or Instagram account engagers, same, same idea. So your warm audience are most likely to buy from you. So I, when it comes to Facebook ads, I always say, okay, you continue nurturing the warm audience with good new content, uh, you know, as well as making sure at least once a month you're, you're running an ad to your warm audience saying, hey, this is my current offer, you know, sign up for my discovery call or sign up for my upcoming course or webinar or, or join my group program, whatever it is you're selling. So like at least once a month, you run Facebook ads to, to the warm audience, inviting them to, to, to something. If you have additional budget, you also continually, like once a week or once every two weeks, you're running an ad to the Facebook audience, warm audience, just to nurture them with some great new content. Okay. So that's the warm. And then the cool is like, well, Maybe the fans of Brene Brown might be interested in my stuff. Maybe the fans of, you know, uh, uh, you know, Eckhart Tolle might be interested in my stuff. So you kind of pick an influencer that is like a celebrity influencer who has an audience that you would love to reach. And then that's your cool audience. You are reaching them with Facebook ads using your best content. So unlike other Facebook ads experts, I don't teach um, funnel uh, like, oh, you know, wonderful, you know, catchy video that gets people to sign up for a free gift or whatever it is. Um, yeah, I, I think that tends to build uh, the wrong kind of list. So I like to run, I think of Facebook ads, ironically, because how evil Facebook is supposedly, I think of Facebook ads as a ministry. So I think of Facebook ads as like equal to donating to charity. I know it's, it's very twisted logic, but guess what? I believe that your probably your, your most powerful way of, of giving, of giving impact in the world is your life's experience and sharing that to try to shift. Like what is the impact of a mind or heart shifted? Yeah. I mean, sure. You want to feed the poor. You sure you want to heal, heal the sick, but what's the, what's the impact, the ripple effect impact of somebody whose mind was shifted or heart was uplifted by your content. We don't know because that person goes on to help many more people. So that's why I say running face. I look at, I spend 600 to $1,000 a month on Facebook and Instagram ads. Much of that money is just ministry money. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just sending helpful content, mind shifting content to the people, cool audiences who, who are like, many of them will never follow me again, but they like, wow, I never thought of it, you know marketing in an authentic way before. Maybe I can think of business as more purposeful. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I'm doing this all day long, and whatever your content is, whether it's you know, mindfulness or relationships or healing or, you know, um, whatever it is, you're, you're helping people with your content. And that's the cool audience stuff. And whatever budget you have, I mean, budget we could talk about in a separate segment, but, um, but, but here's the final thing I'll say that's important is that when you're running ads to a cool audience, you should study, you, you, you'll find some people liking your, your, your cool audience ads. You should study the profiles of those people. 
to see if you're reaching the right people before you spend more money on that audience. Because maybe you think the Brene Brown audience is really good for you. Maybe not because she has what, three, four million people now you can advertise to on Facebook that are part of her audience. Maybe a bunch of them who, who, who are going to like your ads are the wrong people. So maybe you need to filter Brene Brown and who also are into Eckhart Tolle or whatever, you know, whatever the influencers you want to stack on, on top of each other to say, well, if you're interested in her and him and them and this interest, maybe you'll find like the ideal audience, but you got to keep studying the profiles. So I keep, I keep spot checking the profiles. Am I reaching the right people? And some people you can't see much because they, they, they have a very private profile. You just move on to the next person. You just use a representative. Anyway, so that's really quick kind of a five minute nutshell of my entire you know, eight hour Facebook course. <laughs> so I hope that helps.